The area in the early to mid 90s was just full of buildings such as this, with people taking risks, cr running crazy events, private views that would spill out onto the streets, and there is still an element of that. Hoxton was a, a hub for artists. Alexander McQueen used to have his studio in Hoxton Square. Fast forward 20 odd years, there's a whole lifestyle and culture here. People still flock here, you realise that behind those sometimes anonymous looking doors there's a lot of interesting stuff still going on. What I love about this area is that it's got a soul and it's got an energy and it does definitely inspire me. I love sort of sitting in the coffee shops and, and coming up with ideas. There's a lot of design talent here, you know the studios are here, there's a lot of studios, there's art galleries, cafes and bars and the, the creative talent that was born here, that's made, made it what it is. Just the amount of people that will work in those buildings and migrate here because of those buildings will change the energy and the flavour and consequently the businesses and the shops and the cafes and the restaurants around here and I think on the whole for the better. I think it's great for the area, it's, things are happening here, it's, it's growth, you know, you want people to come here and enjoy it. The square and, and, and the Shoreditch High Street it feels like a village, you, you, you begin to know everyone and even sort of walking the dog in Hoxton Square, um, it's, it's, it's friendly, um, all the coffee shops, and it's a nice place to live, there's a village atmosphere. London in its nature is a city that evolves constantly. There is really sort of nothing static here in terms of its architecture or the social demographic of a particular area. What makes this area in particular very exciting is that we don't quite know what it's going to be like next year.